And welcome back. Um, this is another video on the MindRay BC3200. This is our automated CVC analyzer in class. Uh, in a previous um, video, you saw me clear uh, flags from the screen. You also saw me replace a couple of reagents to make sure that the flags didn't come back and that we had everything good. So I did run alcohol as a patient to get rid of the last... Um, the last abnormal background and hemoglobin errors. And uh, it's working great because everything is zeroed here. Uh, the, the instrument does flag that as low, which is wonderful. There's nothing in the histogram windows. So that means that everything is ready to go, okay? So I have a patient here, all right? Uh, we run lavender top tubes on here, which is a, a EDTA whole blood sample. Okay, you want to make sure you rock gently, not um, vigorously, because you could cause hemolysis uh, if you rock um, a specimen very vigorously. Now, if you have a specimen that has been sitting, it would separate like this, and you would have the plasma on the top and the cells on the bottom. The reason I know that's plasma on the top is because this has an anticoagulant, EDTA, in it, and that means that it should not have clotted, and therefore we know that that would be plasma as the liquid portion of the blood. So let's go ahead and just pop this, um, this specimen in. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to put the patient's information in this time just because I'm testing this to see uh, how well this is going to go. So let's press aspirate. We are on uh, ID patient number two. If you see that in the corner over here in class, you can go ahead and put uh, the name of the patient in or the patient number and that information is in a user guide that I have with the analyzer for you uh, for students to use in class. I'll get back to you with the results. All right this patient is showing high of practically everything so I'm kind of concerned if I actually mix the specimen very well so um, it had been sitting for a while and I just mixed it a little bit when I showed you. So uh, I'm going to mix the specimen again and run it. I want to make sure this is not an instrument issue in regard to, um, you know, the lice not being primed enough or anything like that from the previous videos we were showing. And I know that this patient is normal. Um, so let's, let's see how that goes. So I'm going to do this again and uh, see what we get here. All right, so I ran another uh, normal specimen, and this is basically like your QC right now, and um, it's still going a little higher than expected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Easy Clean Cleanser, and hopefully that would be uh, really well. What you would want to do after maintenance of a critical part of an analyzer is to uh, calibrate your analyzer and also to run QC and uh, I'm not going to do a video on that uh, but that would be what you would want to do to make sure that your analyzer is running optimally and that you'll get uh, correct results. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.